Okay, a lot of the moves we're showing for the headlock and the headlock setup um, will look like a Greco setup for us because we wrestle Greco now at this point in our lives. Uh, but most of them, if not all of them, can apply to folk style and Greco. This is a folk style specific one, and it's going to be hitting a headlock from another guy's collar tie, from your opponent's collar tie. Um, and why this doesn't really apply to Greco is because anybody worth their salt at the senior level, U23 level, is not going to collar tie you. This is just asking for danger if you're on the senior level, because then you're going for a ride. But say we're in folk style, and this guy starts really coming heavy on this. The heavier he is on that collar tie, the better. Most of the time, if you hit a bulldog in a dual meet or something, you go, oh crap, once you, once you see and start pulling down on that. But if I'm hitting a headlock, that's music to my ears. So if he comes, he hits the collar tie. Again, I'm leading with my leg, my, uh, my headlocking arm, and I have to control above um, the elbow. I can do that in a couple of ways. I can either do this, I can come back in the middle and get my own, or I can clamp over and clamp, um, or drape over and clamp. Just for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna go with tricep control for this demonstration. So I'm here. Another part of the headlock is that he has to be pushing in because I'm not gonna pull him from nowhere. So again, monkey see, monkey do. Push in a little bit. Once I load my leg up, I let him push back. Then I hit. Don't need to go into this into uber detail. Show it one or two more times from two different angles. So again, I'm here. I get my above elbow control. I'm pushing in. I almost got a little bit of a collar tie of my own. Once I solidify this foot, he pushes back in. I'm hitting it. Go from the other side. We're here. Push back in. Hitting it. Last one. So you can see me from the back. Hit. 